I know we're going to talk about texting. I'm going to show you examples. I have a few real life examples I'm going to go over. But the rule is before we get into that, a lot of guys want to learn this for the wrong reason. When you text, um, I want it to be outcome detached. I want it to just zoom out because most guys end up like guy number two. And I wanted to always remember, dude, our rule number one in any interaction is outcome detachment. I don't want anyone to be in charge of her happiness. So I wanted to always be this dude, regardless of what happens. So we have different texts. We have casual text when you text me, when you take your buddies, when you text your friends, which is not that we're going to talk about here, but there's also sensitive texting when you're on the verge of divorce and you want to get your ex back or when you're dating. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about these sensitive texting. So I'm going to tell you about a trace of good text message examples. And uh, we are going to talk about some of the messages that you guys shared with me. I'm going to do analysis of that. If you want me to analyze your messages, definitely share, send them to my WhatsApp. And I'm going to give you frames. What does a man struggle with texting? This is how we talk. This is man-to-man -man communication. But when you talk to girls, it's like this. And most guys don't understand it. Why doesn't she write back when she says she's going to write back? Why we were supposed to set a date for six o'clock. I thought we confirmed, but it didn't work. I know her for 10 years. You still have problems with this. So what is going on here? This is a problem. You think like this, like guys think like this, but girls act like this. So don't expect her to make sense. Perfect text message. First of all, it's playful. I'm going to show them here. And you see there's a knob here when you meet a girl for the first time and you want to set a date or you want to tell her to come to your place. There are these little things that you do, like you being playful or you make challenges for her, but you got to adjust them with this knob. Like if you're too playful, she don't take you seriously. If you put too many challenges for her, you appear as a cocky guy and player. If you, for example... I say something you have to get it to qualify. I'm going to teach you what it is. But if you do it too much, you're going to come off like a player. If you don't do it enough, you become too easy. And she won't take the relationship seriously. Same thing with leading. Sometimes a guy leads too much. If you do too much of this, you become like a player and she can instantly tell this dude is trying too hard. But if you don't lead, you don't get a date. If your message doesn't have a call to action, you won't ever get to a date, like examples I'm going to show you. But if you have too many call to actions, you become needy. All of the interactions should fall under a frame and they should be calibrated. I'll show you examples and we're going to see how to put each of these into action. Now, the dynamic between you and her. The thing is first to understand there are different frames. I'll give you three of them, very simple ones. When you learn all of this, knowing them is one thing, but when you're in a situation, being able to implement is something else. Most guys understand what they should do. I know how I should talk to her, but when that text message comes, it completely forgets. Uh, okay, oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I said that. That's why I get you guys to check with me if you're in the middle of a sensitive conversation. This is the best friend. Every time you want to send a text message, ask yourself, would James Bond send this or not? <laughs> and most of the time you realize, no, he wouldn't send this. <laughs> I should change this. So always validate your message through this. And that's how you do it. Look at a message. Would James want to send this or not? That's a really good one. Father, daughter is a really good one as well. That's also easy. Uncle niece is also pretty cool. And uh, employee, employees also. Now, I'll give you a few examples in dating. I can read this here at top here. It says, when do you want to meet me? Yep. Okay, you can read this. So when she sent this, um, what do most guys say in response? They say, well, Tuesday or Wednesday or four o'clock or five o'clock. A very good answer. There's 10 reasons for that. Very, very good answer that always works is to say this. It depends. It does so many things. It does a right qualification, right disqualification, that there's so many little things that go into it depends. It works the attraction. It is mysterious. It does a lot of things, right? It's not too much. It's not too little. It's perfect. So I wanted to always have this as one of your hacks. When she asks you a question, do this. It also makes it interesting. Now, 
if you go back to these traits, you got to switch between these. If you're constantly playful, you become the goofy guy shouldn't take seriously. If you're constantly a challenger, you're just playing games with us. So she stops working with you. It depends. It's, it, it's not being playful at all. When you say it depends, you're being serious. Now, to switch, you say, are you going to behave or are you going to be an inappropriate young woman? This is when you haven't met her or you have met her once, twice. You're still at the very early stages. Now, what is this message? If you break it down, are you going to behave or are you going to be an inappropriate young woman? This is completely the opposite of the previous message. It is. And it's playful and it's qualifying and it's fun. I've tested this like literally hundreds of times. These two messages, it depends on a qualifier with a playful theme. They work really, really well. When you put these two next to each other in any variation that you want, you will fall for it. And you can ask, take a screenshot of this if you want. And I wanted to go over to see what happens here. A question comes from her. Then you always drop the, it depends, and then put a qualifier playful like this. If you want, I can break it down. She says, I won't behave. Can you handle it? So she's giving it back. And now the frame is completely sexual. Because now you can talk about anything. Now you can talk about punishment. You can talk about fun. I've got to get to relationship examples later. This is completely about dating. And I know most guys have problems escalating. The conversation gets boring. This is the antidote to that. Which, by the way, you can also do this with your if you have a girlfriend or if you're seeing someone that they, they love this this is another one it depends one more time it's not the best practice because it's already been played once you don't want to overplay this but let's see what happens see what now oh my god what now this is not the best to put it depends twice but still worked so here i just bluffing are really spontaneous and this is a qualifier spontaneous adventurous open-minded these three always work really well so if your text is not going somewhere if she's not responding if you see she's she's cold she's not writing it's because you're not doing qualification the right way i don't want to focus a lot on outer game but you guys need outer game as well and this outer game directs the conversation exactly where you want it to go so i wanted to write down the list of qualifiers if you're in a relationship you know her see what kind of person she's and build your qualifiers based on her personality. And again, look at what happens here. I guess you'll have to find out. If you just take this, I'm going to give you this file, by the way, but if you just take this, you will never have any problem with your leads. You just have to get it to a place that she asks you a question. What are you looking for on Tinder? Then she says, what about you? Then you say, it depends. Then you can put it here. So you're going to direct your conversations to someone like this. I've never seen any videos that teach things like this. I was up for surprise. And you go for what? We can meet six o'clock in front of one hotel if it suits you. All of those knobs that I showed you at first, you can see pretty much, pretty much three, four of them there. You saw it was playful. It did challenge her. It did get to qualify. It didn't disqualify. It did lead, and there was a call to action. And it did fall under a frame, leading frame. That, that's a good example. Next thing, what is the problem here with the blue? The girl says Monday or Tuesday, and he says I'm free either day. And what are we going to do? Here, it, I got nothing to do. I'm just sitting here waiting for you to tell me what to do. What is it? That's low value. If you read the book, get the girl, there's a list of low value traits. The dude is always available. <laughs> they always show up first in party. There's nobody in the party. The first guy at the party, 5 p.m. to show up at the party. <laughs> Text message 30 seconds later, they're right back. And that's the problem here. If you're doing this, if you're on the verge of divorce, if you're texting to get your ex back, if you're with somebody who you just met and it's a dating, you got to be very careful to follow this the right way. So, yeah, the dude is way too available. And also... Maybe you can come over to my house and we make dinner. This is breaking protocol number six. What's protocol number six? You're going to be one step behind it in terms of this. If you want to close it, you do the three step close. Even if you want to invite her home, you can't just go, hey, I'm free all the time. That is skipping a few steps. Or this one, the blue one. What is the problem here with the blue one? So she says, well, 
even before friends, the existence of chemistry needs to be determined. Way serious, but it's cool, kind of sexual. Honestly, I already have enough friends. I'm certainly a grown up. However, being in touch with one's inner child and its need is one key to feeling, acting, and, and even looking youthful. So, and look at what he said. He said, I think that being playful builds trust and is one of the keys to staying young. By the way, what is your name? The problem here is there's so many good things here. He's completely ignoring all of that stuff. He can use this to escalate. He can disqualify. Hey, don't expect me to grow up anytime soon. He can qualify. He can disqualify. He can use all of these things that she said to come up with a really good answer. So you're one message away from becoming a uh, bull. And you want to become boring. That's why they don't write back. If you are boring, they don't write back. And if you're not sure what to do or what to say, read their message and use qualification and disqualification. So like this one. Chemistry does, doesn't come easy these days. I'm very picky on that, to be honest. How about you? And feel it just with anyone? I'm not an easy target, just saying. You see there are a lot of things happening here. Um, I'm not easy. Are you easy? Do you feel it just with anyone? These are all a bunch of qualifications. And... Also, you can say, I struggle growing up to be honest. My inner child is in control. That's also being playful and not taking what she says seriously because what she's doing in text here, she's taking this seriously. She wants oh. to have the conversation seriously talking about the inner child, whatever she's doing here. Or you can say, do you feel much or just act and hope emotions come after? One of the craziest thing about this program is that most guys understand the rules they know the logic, but when it comes to implementation emotionally, they don't know it. And that's a challenge. That's why we catch them in messages like this. Or this one, she says, have a good day. You say, don't tell me how to live my life. If you send the right text message at the wrong time, it's going to blow up. Sometimes I see you guys send me these text messages. I say, this, this is exactly from your book. I took it exactly from there, but I gave it here. Then she stopped talking. What happened? Well, because it's in the wrong context. So it should be at the right time. Next one. I want to give you a gift and see how you are doing this for Christmas. She says, I don't want to give. I didn't get you anything. And the blue says, that's fine. I'm okay with that. It's okay if you don't want the gift. Just wanted to see you for a bit. Been off all this week. The problem with that is, do you ever see James Bond doing this? When she's disqualifying her, when she says no, Jensen will probably pull his gun and shoot her in the foot or something. He doesn't say, <laughs> hey, you know, oh, it's okay. I'm totally fine with that because you're my only option on the planet and there's no way I can ever find anybody like you ever again. It happens in those situations when you're disconnected and then you see the breadcrumbs and she says something and you want to jump on that. And she said, hey, you know, maybe next week me and kids will come and see you again. Boom, suddenly, holy shit, the door is open. It's fine if you cannot make it. That's totally cool. You don't have to do it. You don't have to come and see me. And if you see me, it's great. I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay either way. And I start to do all of these things that are super low value and bring himself down and bring her up because subconsciously, he thinks that if I give her a lot of value, then she will definitely come closer to me. What would have been a good answer here? She, when he says, I wanted to give you a gift and see how you were doing. She says, I don't want a gift. I didn't get you anything. I don't just end it there. That's better than saying some low value. I don't just don't say anything or just put a check, like a green check, something like that. You don't need to write three messages that stack on top of each other when you get something like that. This is playful relationship and it's over and you want to get back and you keep fighting i don't really appreciate what you said in front of him it was a terrible thing to say and you have no right to say shit like that to me you understand me they were together for seven years so what do most guys say get into fight oh I say whatever i want you don't have a right to talk to me like this get into a fight right answer hey what are you referring to exactly take advantage of having access to these emojis they really make things easier. They make things light. You can say the same thing with different emojis or without emojis and it can come off completely aggressive or the wrong way. To use these emojis, she says, you saying you're dating again, that's disrespectful. The give context is that they're separate, 
she is dating someone else and she told him you cannot tell my friends that you're seeing somebody else he was biting his tongue and i said dude why are you biting your tongue man what is the reason for you not to say this there's no reason she's doing whatever she wants and she's bullying it the dude was real nice guy like the book no one was a nice guy so he said we're not together anymore you're dating someone else we're both free to do what we want anyways i have to go i have a lot of work have a great day and end the don't get to fight a conversation finish a conversation boom that's it and sometimes you just can't get a perfect conversation wave sometimes down sometimes really great sometimes really bad sometimes really great when it's down don't take it seriously it will pass it will always pass it could be a girl you just met it could be a girl that you just approach you're talking to her the first 20 seconds she's going to be very difficult on you don't react on that difficult behavior that will pass this is the, the biggest secret when you communicate with women. Whatever she's feeling, I don't care if it's your mom, if it's your girlfriend, if it's your wife, when she brings tension to change your state and make you feel stressed and reactive and anxiety, you don't need to go there. It will pass. She'll make you do things like, oh, what do you mean? And then 10 seconds later, she's going to forget about it. And she says, why is he so tense? So always lead with those. This is really, really, really important. And the conversation ends here. You don't need to reply. I know most guys, when they see a text, they continue to reply until she stops. That's another big one. You want to be the one who ends the conversation. Basically, the last message, in most cases, should be hers. Remember these friends one more time. The general friend, father-daughter friend, uncle-niece friend, employee-employee friend. If you don't know what to do for your text message, just the James one thing. Ask yourself, would James Bond do things like this or not? Now, if you have questions, I'm just going to stop sharing the screen. If you have questions, you can just go ahead, unmute yourself and ask your questions. You can look at it two ways. You can either just dive in and start fixing that question, or you can zoom out. Because what you're telling me is a symptom of a bigger problem, which is you don't have the abundance. Allocate 20% of your time to be around women that are potential to be your lovers. You owe this to yourself because it's a very important part of your life. If you don't do this, you'll find yourself in very difficult situations that you have to do things that are not ordinary and you have to do that. To fix this, spend half an hour, go around this bar pilates classes, go to yoga studios. You feel comfortable that you're getting your share of women there. You're getting your share of love there and it's easier. But if you're in a tough situation, and you don't have anything else around, yeah, all of the things that I told you here, you have to apply them. You got to be like an alternate, one playful, one serious, one qualified, one disqualified. It will only be fixed if you know, if you have peace of mind that this part of your life is already taken care of. You don't want to rely on the next girl that you see. When I say go to two bar pilates classes, that will take the pressure off you. Then you're more chilled and you're more relaxed. Then you can implement these. 